So welcome back everybody. Today you can see I'm in my processing room. We built this room years and years ago. This is where we process all of our garden vegetables that we grow, our fish, our meats that we harvest and everything else. And we prepare them for canning and freezing. So a lot of cutting goes on out here. I got a surprise in the mail the other day. So we're going to go over this right here. So literally the day of my 40th birthday, this shows up in the mail and I have no idea who sent it to me. I don't know if it was one of you viewers because y'all are always doing kind stuff for us like that. It could have been a friend, a family member. There was no note or nothing. So somebody's playing secret Santa for me right here, but I have wanted one of these forever. I don't know why I've never bought one with as many knives as I use. So this is the belt driven work sharp sharpener. A lot of people claim this is the best knife sharpener out there, bar none, at least as far as something automatic or electronic goes right there. And they have two different editions. Somebody sent me the Ken Onion edition and it's my understanding this is kind of like the premium model right here. So let's open it up. Let's show you how this thing works. I've got a few dull knives up here and uh, let's see if it actually does what they claim. This is my first time ever using it. I'll save it to put on camera with you. All right, so let's get this thing open up again. What an awesome surprise and gift. I don't know who sent this to me, but thank you if you're watching this. So it comes, well, already fully assembled it looks like. In case you've never seen one of these before, here it is. See, we've got different belts here so we can do different grits, grains. This is adjustable for all your degrees. Hopefully you can see right here. Then it comes with a bunch of different belts and grits here from rough grinding all the way up to polishing. And you're supposed to be able to use this on more than even knives. All right, so let's go over the basics real quick. This comes with a really good manual. Now, according to the book, there's pretty much only two belts that we're gonna use. You do all these different coarseness if you need to start over with a damage blade or a tool type blade and work your way up. And because these knives are relatively dull but still have a decent edge on them, no major damage, we're gonna stick to the fine to extra fine belts right here and work our way up. Now the book gives some recommendations on how to start for outdoor knives, which these are considered an outdoor fillet knife. And just out of curiosity, I have a relatively cheap cleaver that actually has damage in the blade because I've been cutting bones. So we'll see if we can work this up to something nice as well. We may actually start with a relatively coarse blade on this since I am seeing and feeling damage. Now the book gives you all different recommendations on different ways to sharp, all the way up to shiny sharp, shaving sharp, and then this is just your different sharpnesses. This is just a general guide. You'll have to learn your machine and your knife. So let's go over this real quick. This adjustment right here is your belt tracking. So all the way down runs the belt in and you need to do that when you have the trigger pressed in and watch the tracking of the belt and adjust this accordingly to center the belt itself up. This is your blade guide. This is the basically non-use position. You'll put this to that position whenever you're running that keeps the belt from backing off as well. Over here, you see this side is knurled. You grab a hold of that, you see the spring tension? This is how you remove and put on your belt. You let loose and it puts tension on the belt itself. And I've already showed you this right here. You adjust this in and out. You can see these wings moving in and out for the degree of sharpness. And they do a really good job of giving good recommendations for the degree that you need. They're recommended 20 degrees to start with for my outdoor fillet knives. And then this lever right here allows you to rotate this head for different uses. So if you want to sharpen, say, a tool out in the field, they show lawnmower blades, although this is probably a bit underpowered for that. But if you want to sharpen an axe or other things, by the way, this is also removable and you can get different attachments, different length belts. You can have a pointy type belt, uh, ones where you can manually sharpen a knife by hand. They have all different add-ons for these as well. All right, get that all the way in there. Check our tracking. Tracking looks good. I should also mention there's a rotation dial down here to adjust the speed, and they give recommendations on the speed you should run. All right, let's do the paper test. Some of these are probably gonna be sharp. Some of these are not. You can see that's just tearing the paper. That is not sharp at all. We just recently used this one for a bunch of redfish. I know it's dull. This one's also not cutting. Okay. It cut better than any of them, but you can see it's got a jagged tear. So this is the sharpest one of all, but still not razor sharp at all. This one, 
This one is jagged and tearing. These knives are all very, very dull. So it's a good time to do this. And out of curiosity, let's try the cleaver, which is uh, chipped all up. Got it to cut, but jagged and torn. Not a good cut at all. Every one of these are dull. It doesn't say if I should be alternating. It just says six to 10 strokes per side. So we'll just continue doing it this way. But typically whenever I sharpen the past, I do alternate one stroke, one stroke. But I don't really know if it matters in this case. All right, now we're gonna swap this belt out. And it says for us to go up to the fine since we're wanting a razor sharp. The belt is definitely discolored, but I can see a lot of metal coming off of these blades. Now what I'm feeling for is a burr. And if you wind up feeling a burr, which is typically would be on one side, feel a little bit of one right there, I'll actually take a steel rod. This is a knife sharpening rod. And what this really does, a few passes on it, will take care of any burrs that you might have and give you back that razor edge. That one feels perfect. No burr on that one either. Okay, so we're cutting now, not tearing, although I won't say this is razor sharp. I don't know. Yeah, okay, big improvement. I still think I could work on that blade a little more. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere now. Didn't cut straight all the way through, but so much of an improvement. Oh, y'all. Oh man, that one's cutting like butter. Look at that, y'all. A little bit of a jagged tear there, it might've been me. Look. Okay, I could probably work on these a little more with maybe the extra fine blade or just make a few more passes. That is a night and day improvement. That's getting close to razor sharp. Plenty sharp enough to fillet a fish now. And look at how quick that was. Now here's the thing, I'm pretty much always probably gonna leave this fine blade on because when I'm cleaning fish or you know cleaning venison or other types of meat, cutting up steaks for example, and I feel like I'm starting to get a little dull, clean your knife, I can already have this set up. I think a few passes with the fine belt, you can get that sharp edge right back. All right, so let's go to this cleaver guide. It says we need to go to a 30 degree angle. We wanna sharpen on high speed and uh, we want to start with the X65, four to eight passes, and finish off with the X22, the medium. We do not go to fine here. So let's see. I don't know if that's going to get us razor or not, but I've already got damage to this. This is a very cheap cleaver, by the way. Not expecting it to hold a razor's edge. By the way. Forgot to flip that guy around to keep the belt from coming off on me, which it didn't do. All right, so now let's change over to the X22. This is anywhere from two to eight passes. Oh man, y'all, that is so sharp. Holy smokes, we just took a super cheap cleaver and just made it shaving sharp. And by shaving sharp, well, other than all the skin it cut off, it's shaving hair. 
<laughs> Look at that. Wow. All right, so in conclusion, does this thing work? Heck yeah, it works. And I am super excited for the first time in my life about sharpening knives. Man, it can be such a chore to get these things correct. Now we can take damage blades or we can change the angles with these coarse uh, belts right here and just completely change the, the angle or the grind of the blade if we want to work a knife into something else. Quick polishing, this is sweet. Again, whoever the heck sent me this, thank you so much. It showed up on my birthday, perfect gift for somebody like me. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one.